while making The House of Flying Daggers back in 2004, director Zhang Yimou described Zhang Ziyi as representing the younger generation of Chinese people who will give up everything for love. Over the years, the Chinese actress has had to get used to having full stories about her private life circulated by the gossip-hungry media, including rumors that it was all over with her fiancé, Vivi Nevo. Back in the year 2000, the 19-year-old graduate of the Beijing Dance Academy made her acting debut in Zhang Yimou's film The Road Home. Then, in the same year, she made an even bigger splash with Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. More film offers quickly followed, but the actress was bent on proving herself and turned down many Hollywood roles that threatened to typecast her as an Asian female victim. But when the chance came to immerse herself in the life of a Japanese escort in the big screen version of Memoirs of a Geisha, she jumped at the challenge. While many people were outraged at a Chinese woman being cast as a Japanese geisha, she rode out the controversy. And just two years later, she was invited to become the youngest person to sit on the jury at the Cannes Film Festival. She was breaking new ground again in 2009, signing on not only as the star, but also the producer of her first romantic comedy, Sophie's Revenge. Uh. 其实我这几个月以来都在不断的在为非常完美宣传，我觉得这是我第一部宣传这么多的一部电影，可能就是跟自己嗯制片有关系吧。And after reportedly signing a multi-film contract with the Weinstein Company, Zhang Ziyi looks set to keep blazing a trail for Asian cinema.